good morning friends therefore stay alert because you do not know the day or the hour the message of the parable of talent focuses on four major themes resources work time and profit if you were to make an equation of this parable it would probably go like this resources plus labor plus time is equal to profit let's begin with the end result profit god expects to see a profit he is not harsh nor does he require that we do the impossible he does not require us to make bricks without providing both the clay and the straw just as a businessman expects to make a profit and rejoices when his employees increase his wealth god also expects profits and rejoices in it just as a businessman expects to make a profit and rejoices when his employees increase his wealth god also expects profit and rejoices in it he has granted the time and the resources to men to make profit for the kingdom of heaven is the question for us to consider is this how do we measure spiritual profit we know that god expects us to grow over time and that he is displeased when we fail to grow and he also expects an active waiting from his disciples waiting means gospel living it means investing in our community and taking risks for god god gives us talents and these are like the matches in the box but matches unlit are pretty useless god wants us to be fired up to glow and burn for him to bring warmth and light wherever we go and whatever we do the lazy and wicked slave in our parable is the person who refuses to go work with the resources god has provided and to produce profit for the kingdom of heaven there is no end to our labors for our father in heaven if we love our master we would view our labors for him as a matter of joy let's think for a while do we know and love the master jesus christ by faith have we entered into his labor what is our ministry our unique contribution to the kingdom of god what is it that we want him to find when he returns we have received the gift of faith our responsibility as religious is not just to preserve and keep the faith we need to trade with it we need to sell it to the people of our times we need to promote and add value to the faith this is a venture that brings with it much risk and inconvenience but unless we do this we stand in a danger of losing the faith just as the th- third servant lost his talent let's remember that do not worry what god has entrusted to us go to work with it for the glory of god and for our eternal rewards thank you have a nice day